Howdy y'all, welcome back to Brit and the Beard. Unfortunately, Brit is still down. Um, so, I guess you guys get a bitch with the beard. I'm going to show you how all how to make homemade... Eggnog. Eggnog. It's really a pretty simple process. Um, should go pretty quick, so... Let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to separate out six eggs. We did that off camera because it's kind of a time consuming process and a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do is going to add your eggs to your big mixing bowl. We add these eggs to the big mixing bowl. All right. I need to get the little uh, last eggs out of here. All right. All right. And then yeah. you're going to add half a cup of sugar. And then you're going to whisk your eggs and your sugar together until they're nice and smooth. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. And then some ideas for what you guys can do with your egg whites is you can either store them in the fridge for a day and use them in another recipe. Or you can make frittatas or something like that, um, or meringue. Just, uh, you know, not, no use to let them go to waste. Alright, so we got that all creamed up. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one cup of cream. Wait, Dustin. Two cups of milk and one half teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to take them over to the stove and put them in our pot. Sure. Put them in our pot on the stove. Oh, okay. So there's our cup of cream and our two cups of milk and then our half a teaspoon of nutmeg and you're gonna heat that up over medium-high heat until it's just barely simmering. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll be back with you guys here when it's about the right temperature and we'll go to the next step. Alright, so we're just about where we need to be. You can see a little bit of movement there in the pot. We're just about at a simmer. We're going to give it a, just a few more minutes here, seconds. You don't want it to be too hot because if it is, in the next step you're just going to end up cooking eggs and milk and that's not what we're trying to accomplish here. So. We'll just give it just a little bit here. All right, so we're right about where we need to be. So we're going to go back over to our workstation. I'll show you guys what the next step is. All right, now that you got your milk just to a simmer, what you're going to want to do, you're going to start whisking your egg mixture. And you're going to add in a big spoonful of your milk mixture. You're just going to keep whisking, and then when it gets all combined, you add we're going to add another big spoonful. Now that it's all combined, and then keep mixing. And then, and then I'm going to let I'm going to mix while Dustin goes ahead and adds spoonfuls for me when I tell him to here. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All right, so once you got all of your mixture, milk mixture combined with your eggs, you're going to go ahead and put it back into your pot. And then you're going to take it back over to your stove and you're going to heat it up until it gets to 160 and thickens up a little bit. So I'm going to move back over to the stove and be back. All right, we got it back on the stove now. You can turn your heat down to about medium and you're going to whisk it cons constantly until you get it up to about 160. And you'll, you'll start to see and feel it thicken a little bit. All 
you can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit it's not going to be real thick until you refrigerate it it's not going to have that good eggnog thickness to it until it cools all right so now i think we are where we need to be and then we're going to go back over our workstation i'll show you all the next step okay So we got our mixture off the stove now and at this point in time this is where you're going to want to add your vanilla which is supposed to be a quarter teaspoon but if you guys have watched your videos you know that we don't get we just kind of guess with vanilla so you mix that in there also if you were going to be doing the traditional or adult version of this this would be the time that you mix the necessary ingredient in for that so now what we're going to do is we're going to strain it into our jar here hold that right there Dustin yep hold it right there and then just hold that with the other hand okay just hold it right there don't move mm. we're just straining it in case there's any cooked chunks of egg in there right there is your eggnog you just stick that in the fridge wait for it to cool and then you can top it with ground cinnamon or whipped cream or whatever you like um, thank you very much for watching this video uh, I hope you guys try it it's absolutely delicious it's better than anything store-bought you've ever had and uh, y'all have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas.